Okay, so in this video, we want to introduce quickly the factorial. The factorial is simply a function defined on the natural numbers, and we denote the factorial with an exclamation mark. So here's how it's defined, and you'll see it's a recursive definition. So we have zero factorial, again, it's an exclamation mark, so this reads zero factorial, this is defined to be one then 1 factorial is also defined to be 1, 2 factorial is defined to be 1 times 2, which is 2, 3 factorial is defined to be 1 times 2 times 3, which is 6, and you can probably see where this is going now. 4 factorial is defined to be 1 times 2 times 3 times 4, which is 24. 5 factorial is 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5, which is 120. Let's do one more. 6 factorial, which is 1 times 2 times 3 times 4, times 5, times 6. So it's 6 times 120, which is 720. And so forth. And you see, other than the exception that 0 factorial, in general, n factorial is simply the product of the first n positive integers. So here's how we can write it. We can write it forward or backwards. So we can write n factorial, and again, the product of the first positive n integers, so this would be 1 times 2 times 3, all the way up to times n. And again, as long as n is above 1, because this does not make sense if n is 0, but that's the special case, 0 factorial is 1. So you can write the product going up from 1 to n, but you could also go backwards. You could write the product starting from n and going down to 1. So you could say, okay, well, it's n times, if you go down by 1, it's n minus 1, go down by another step, n minus 2, all the way down to 3 times 2 times 1. So really just think of it as 0 factorial is 1, and n factorial is a product of the first positive n integers, either written from 1 all the way up to n, or from n all the way down to 1. I want to give you now just two examples of how we can simplify expressions that contain factorials. And the idea is, if you have factorials, expand in a fraction, expand a larger factorial, until you hit the smaller factorial, and then you can simplify almost everything. So here are two examples. And what we're asking is simply to simplify. So in the first case, we'll ask to simplify n factorial over n plus 2 factorial. As I've just said, we expand the larger factorial until we hit the smaller factorial. Well, n plus 2 is the larger factorial, so we leave on top n factorial. And when you have these expressions, it will always make it a little shorter if we write the factorial from the largest value down to the smallest value. You'll see why in a second. So n plus 2 factorial from the largest value is n plus 2 times the smaller value, that is n plus 1, times the next smaller value that is n, and if you think of it, we have to go down from n plus 2 all the way to 1. So this will be n plus 2, down n plus 1, down n, down n minus 1, and all the way down to 2 times 1. So this will be n factorial, multiplying all the integers from n down to 1. 
So we can cancel, and we're left with in the end simply 1 over n plus 2 times n plus 1. And that's it. Here's our second and last example. What if we add 2n plus 3 factorial over simply 2n factorial? Now clearly the numerator is a larger factorial, so we'll expand this again from the largest to the smallest value until we hit the 2n. So 2n plus 3 factorial. Well, it's 2n plus 3 times we're going down 2n plus 2 times we're going down 2n plus 1 down again to 2n and from 2n all the way down to 1 this will be 2n factorial all over 2n factorial we can cancel and that leaves us with 2n plus 3 times 2n plus 2 times 2n plus 1 and that's it